got time for hot help. <laughs> Get out of bed. Visions of a new day start to dance through my head. It's Monday. It's time. It's finally here. First day of school is the best day of the year. But oh, the possibilities. The rest of my whole life begins on Monday. Put on my clothes and shoes and stuff. I can't get ready fast enough. Brush my teeth and I am on my way. I just can't wait. Cause Mondays are great. You'll have to excuse me. I sing when I'm happy. I sing a lot. My name is Diana Muncy. Diana Muncy. And today is Monday. Oh, don't mind those people back there. That's just the crew. Sometimes they move scenery around so that one place can be magically turned into another. It's a convention of musical theater. For example, one second I could be in my bedroom, and the next second I could be on the beach. Or I could be at the greatest school in the history of the world, Reseg, the really expensive school for the exceptionally gifted. Come on, let's explore the halls. The floors have been buffed and there's fresh paint on the walls. It's Hello, let's see what's up with the fencing team, the yearbook, and the drama club. You know who's in the drama club because they always face the audience on Monday. I've been patient since the spring to hear that one for school bell ring, counting down just like it's New Year's Day. I just can't wait. and students of Reseg. We hope you had a pleasant summer. Difficult challenges await you in the coming year, but don't let your confidence be shaken or stirred. Do your best and you'll be fine. The time is 007.30. Sometimes they hire celebrities to do our morning announcements. I love my school. Reseg is only for the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. That's Gina Foxcloud. Her dad is the richest man in Agatville. And that's Dorothy Frump. She invented food glue. You know, like glue, but for food. And uh, that mysterious looking boy over there is Dugan. Harris Dugan. No one really knows what his story is. But then again, we all have our secrets now, don't we? The hallways of Reseg are filled with future doctors and lawyers and artists and rocket scientists, but uh, this story isn't about them. This story is about him. That's Norman. He's different from the rest because he's normal. And I fancy him, I guess. He's special. At least he is to me. But sometimes I see things in others that they just don't see. His name is Norman. And I hope he'll realize his heart's enormous. With emotion not in size, others ignore him. But they're not like me. And from today I make this vow, it is my destiny. Norman. That's okay. Uh, I'm Diana Muncy. We're in homeroom together. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm new here. New to the school or uh, new to Agletville? Well, both, really. My dad got, well, transferred. What does your dad do? What does he do? Uh-huh. He's, uh... Hey, oh, Norman boy. Oh, hey, Dad. How, how's the first day going? Making friends already, I see. Okay, yeah. This is, uh... Diana Muncy. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. K. Uh, Mr. K? Yeah, well, your name tag says Fred in a name I can't pronounce that starts with the letter K, so it's Mr. Gizzard. K. It's oh, Gazintai. Oh, uh, Mr. K is fine. Great. All right, well, have a super day, kiddo. Uh, thanks, Dad. Super day, kiddo. So, listen, a few of us are gonna sneak into the condemned Aglet factory after school today. It's the first day of school reseg tradition. I'm you wanna sorry. Come? The condemned Aglet factory. What's an Aglet factory? It's a factory where they make aglets. What's an aglet? You don't know what an aglet is? No. This is Derek Sharp, Reseg News. I'm standing here in the halls of Reseg with... What is your name, sir? Ow! Norman! 
Moron? Ow! Norman! I'm standing here with the only person living in Aglidville who doesn't know what an Aglid is. So tell me, have you been brainless your entire life, or is this just a recent development? Ow! Uh... Oh, well, I guess that answers that. No brains for the gender son, moron. This is Jerrica Sharp, Reseg News. She's mean, but uh, she's an excellent reporter. So? So... Are you coming? Uh, to the condemned aglet factory? Yeah, it'll be fun. Please say yes, please say yes, Well, please say yes. I guess, but I have to check with... Yes! It's everything I'm hoping for, I can't contain it anymore. No one's gonna steal my joy away. I just can't wait. I'll see you at a Monday. 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 All right. All right. So Norman said he'd come with us to the abandoned Aglet factory, the condemned Aglet factory, but he wanted to double check with his dad first. So now I have to wait till school's out so that Norman can talk to Mr. K. Hold it. This is a musical. I don't have to wait for anything. Fast forward to Norman's talk with Mr. K. How'd your first day go? All right, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, so say a bunch of people decided to go to this after-school tradition thing after... That's great. What is it? Uh, it they're going to the Condemned Aglet Factory. Uh, the what? Condemned Aglet Factory. The Condemned... I know. So... Yeah, I know. What are you going to do? I don't know. See, you don't get it, Dad. I just don't fit in here. All these people are super smart, and I'm, well, apparently brainless. Ah, huh, I don't think you're brainless. I think you're very smart. Yeah, but I don't even know what an aglet is. Oh, well, that's all right. Uh, Dad, you just, I don't even know why I'm here. Why am I here? You're here because when I got hired as the chair of the sanitation department, <laughs> they said you, my son, could come to this school tuition free. Yeah, but I can't compete with these people. They're all going to be doctors and lawyers and scientists. Well, maybe you can and maybe you can't, kiddo. But you've got one thing in this school that no one else has. And what's that? You're wise. And really, what would you rather be, smart or wise? What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> When you're smart, you know a lot. You're a physicist, an astronaut, with facts and figures always on your mind. You know every type of jungle cat. Find Madagascar on a map. You know the words of Shakespeare, and you recite every line. To be or not to be, that is the question. Is that the question, Norman? Uh, I don't know. But when you're wise, it's more than just what you know. It's what you do that matters most. Just open your eyes. You'll see the best choice to make. And you'll make a strong one, make the wrong one, and you're toast. You may not know what causes the lightning and thunder, but you know the wise places to take shelter under. It pays to improvise when you're wise. So, do you get it? Uh, I don't understand why you have to sing it. Ugh. When you're smart, it's black or white. You always get the answer right. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. You know every single song and dance from the Pirates of Penzance. You are the very model of a modern major general. No? No. But when you're wise, 
It's more than your tests in school. It's the tests of life, where you make the grade. When questions arise, your future is up to you. And you'll do the right thing, do the bright thing, don't be swayed. You may not know what the goo on the bottom of your shoe is. But you're wise enough not to chew it. It pays to analyze when you're wise. Ladies and gentlemen, the really expensive school for the exceptionally gifted janitorial staff show choir. When you are wise, it's not about what you know. You know, it's what you do that matters most. Just open your eyes, you'll see the best choice to make. And you'll make the strong one, make the wrong one for your toast. You may not be one of the winners of the Nobel Prize, but who are they to criticize? What is there to theorize when you're wise? So, so, can I go tonight or not? I don't know. That's up to you, kiddo. But I think you know the right thing to do. Uh, do you have maybe a parable or something for me? Oh, a parable. No problem. Have I ever told you about the parable about the man who built his house on the sand? It sounds familiar. Well, it goes like this. There was a man who knew the wise thing, and he did it. And he was like the man who built his house on the rock. But then there was this other guy who built his house... On a condemned Adwood factory. Well, something like that. Thanks, Dad. No problem. <sighs> Where's Diana? You may oh, not right. know what an aglet is. It's a little plastic on the end of your shoestring. Oh. But I think you know, kiddo, what the wise thing to do is. Yeah, I think so. It's really... It's not a big surprise, cause you are wise. Thanks, Dad. No problem. I'm just the janitor. <laughs> well, here comes Norman. Hey, Dad. Oh, Norman, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, so I talked to my dad about tonight. And? Well, he said it was up to me. Yes! But I don't think it's a great idea. Oh. A condemned agate factory just doesn't sound like it's that safe. You know what? Norman is right. That factory's been around since Agletville was founded in 1827. It could collapse at any minute. It's very dangerous. Norman? Yes? I'm not going either. You're not? Nope. You convinced me. I'm staying on solid ground with you. Oh, great. Well, on Monday nights, my dad puts burgers on the grill and you can come over. That sounds great! How does 6.30... Perfect! I live at... I will okay. find you. Bye! Bye, Norman! 